Hi there. I think we've all heard in the news many times about watch out for scammers. Well, have you gotten scammed yet? Well, I can tell you, getting scammed sure does not make you feel good inside. My name is Russ, and on the Russ Ride channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies, most notably Uber Eats, Postmates, and DoorDash. I'd like to give you some information of what happened to me, and hopefully that can help you prevent the same type of thing from happening. I was on Postmates, and I had an order to El Pollo Loco, and I was in the middle of that when I received another order for Jack in the Box, so I accepted it and continued on. Once I had the El Pollo Loco food in my car, I received a phone call, and I'll play that video next so that you can hear the audio of what the scammer was trying to get me to do. Hi. Hello. Hello, How are you today? Good. That's great. We're reaching out in regards to the Jack in the Box order you're competing for John Cena shows. Uh huh. Yeah, and that order's only for one value try today, and we could have cost the credit card payment for such a small item. So we're actually going to help you cancel out that order for a small reimbursement today, okay? Okay. All right. Sorry. All righty. Are you somewhere pulled over? We're going to assist you on how to do that and get that reimbursement added. Oh, um, I'm delivering the Pollo Loco order right now. How far are you away from that delivery address? I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm at the restaurant still. I'm in the parking lot. Oh, wow. Give me one second. I'm not sure why they would have that done. Can you go ahead and verify your phone number you have on file with it? Um, actually, you should know what my phone number is. Yeah, we're asking you to verify your phone number so we can pull up the account you have on file with this and have that reimbursement link to help you. Um, just one second. Let me contact you guys after I do this delivery. No problem. All right, thanks. I'm going to give you a call back in about five minutes. All right, sounds good. All right, bye. Okay. Anyway, I usually don't answer my phone if they're not in my contacts. Not really sure why I answered it, but maybe it was from Postmates. It's okay. When I received that phone call, I didn't connect the two right away that it was the customer from the Jack in the Box order until they started talking about refunding my account for some charge, etc. I thought that seems strange and they mentioned the Jack in the Box. So I thought, oh, okay, this is some kind of scam. When they asked me to confirm my number, I said, hey, you should already have this information. And here's a little trick they tried on me. They just said, oh, yeah, yeah, we need you to confirm it. And so maybe subconsciously I would think, oh, yes, I resisted them and I said no. But by them asking again, I'm just going to roll over and give them my number. So pay attention to that technique. Just by asking you again, you may let your guard down and let out information you shouldn't. So I continued on with the order and I said I would uh, call them back. And then the gentleman said he would call me in five minutes. Sure. And you can hear by the tone of my voice when I said, oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. You know, I, I was done with that. So as soon as I finished the order, I contacted Postmate support and I was texting them uh, because I guess the phone call thing would take too long. So through text, I let them know that that customer from Jack in the Box had been calling me asking for my personal information and they said that they would kick them off the app immediately and that I didn't need to cancel the order, that they would do it. And what was disruptive in between this, I was getting phone calls from the scammer, of course, trying to reconnect and steal all my money, but I was ignoring them. And then I'll show you a text right here where I did get confused because I was messaging Postmates and then the customer started messaging me as well. And I did get confused and I wrote back to the scammer saying something like, oh, don't let this happen to other people, um, you know, to the Postmates staff. Anyway, the lesson learned from all this is always be careful. Someone will try to get your personal information and you may think that they can't do much with your phone number, but I think they probably can. And it's beyond the scope of this video to get in how they would do that. But the point is, no one needs your personal information. And if they do ask for it, then they're trying to rip you off. So be very careful of that. Let's get out there and get that bag. All right, I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.